actions like the benevolent OA. It incentivizes OA to further act. I like seeing these common themes across stuff. Hexagons like the hexagons like the benevolent OA. It incentivizes OA to further act in their own interest. But what if 80% of pulse from day one end up in a single not hex OA affiliated new whale hand? Are you okay with that? Yeah, why not? People shouldn't get what they pay for. Like, if someone wants to buy a bunch of something, then they deserve what they bought. Like, it's, it's like, oh God, look, Richard is the OA of uh, Rolex fucking rose gold max spec. Like, no, like, if people buy expensive shit, they deserve the expensive shit. Like, it's okay. It's a, it's a, this is how proof of stake works. Like whoever has the most to risk is likely to act in the best interest of a thing. Like all, all central, this concept that centralized ownership is bad is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard of. It's so stupid to me. Okay, what are, what are some centrally controlled organizations? Let me think. The United States. Okay. Who gets to control whether we all die on a minute by minute basis by whether they press the nuke everyone and destroy earth button or not? One guy, one guy gets to decide that. One single fucking guy. He gets to decide whether we all live or die in any moment. Any checks and balances? Nope. He gets to press the button and kill everyone. How's that working out? Well, so far, pretty good. Okay, who controls Facebook? And how's their chart look? Only goes up and to the right forever. And uh, totally controlled by Mark Zuckerberg. One guy. Okay, what about Google? Only goes up and to right forever. Uh, who controls that? Larry Page and uh, can't remember, Sergey Brin. Sergey Brin and Larry Page. Totally centralized control, up and to the right forever. Okay, what else? Tesla. He owns 22 to 30% of SpaceX or Tesla. Can't remember which. Might own more of SpaceX, whatever. Okay, how's his chart? Well, pretty fucking amazing. Richest guy in the world. Centrally controlled, centrally owned. So where did you dumbasses, where did you fucking wrecked pleb idiots start thinking that centralized ownership was bad? Like, w what fucking chart are you looking at? Because it's no chart that I'm aware of. Every, every single successful business, successful country, successful military is centrally owned and fucking controlled. All of them. So what, what the fuck are you guys talking about? And what are you looking at? Where did you dumbasses get this idea that plebs owning everything fucking works? Because I've never seen it work. As a matter of fact, that's what socialism is. Socialism, which has fucking failed everywhere it's been tried, is where everyone owns the same amount of some shit and it's the broadest centralized, decentralized ownership you could have. And it fails entirely every fucking time. So why don't you guys stop being stupid and, and fucking learn what works? Centralized ownership works everywhere that it exists. Like, huh? Now, why do I think people are making this mistake? Because decentralized node infrastructure does help censorship resistance. It does help. But how is that censorship resistance helping the price? It's not. They're not related. Bitcoin just dropped 55%. But you think it's decentralized. Okay. Well, apparently decentralization is not helping the fucking price. So do you want decentralized in your node network? Yeah, it's okay if you can get it. It's not mandatory. There's centralized shit that doesn't have node problems at all. EOS is centralized as fuck. Price chart looks like shit. Is there getting transactions rolled back? Only when the nodes are doing it, not when a government wants it. So like, learn from me. Learn from what I'm teaching you. Decentralized node infrastructure is only useful if you're actually getting attacks. Otherwise, it's just extra overhead. If you're not getting attacks, more centralized, has higher throughput and better user experience and better price performance because there's less overhead. So if you, it, furthermore, if you look at all of the top ERC-20s, they're all centrally owned as fuck. If you, if you actually look on etherscan.io and click holders and look at the analysis of the top 100 holders hold X of the supply, Hex actually has a more distributed top number of holders holding X supply than any other ERC-20 that I know of. And you can go to etherscan.io and go click ERC-20s and go look at these statistics I'm telling you about. So if you want decentralization, 
Hex appears to have it more than other things. If you think decentralization helps price, you're an idiot. That doesn't show up on any chart that I've seen. Um, yeah, like, just, I, I hope that you're able to learn from telling you. Stop thinking that decentralized ownership is good. It's not. It's truly not. Like, how could I make it more clear to you? The only time decentralized ownership has been tried is called socialism, and it has failed entirely. And everything else is centrally owned and controlled as fuck, and goes up and to the right as fuck. Like, so obvious and fucking clear.